I can't believe they're advertising drugs on Canadian radio now. Like, when's the drug ads going to start coming out on TV too, right? Like, one was for... Anyway, oh yeah, I'm on Med 1. I guess that's why I was turning down the radio. And the question was, is it bad to take insulin? Or is insulin bad for people, I think was the exact word. Um, as one of the first people that didn't need insulin to start jabbing myself with insulin for a little while, till I realized how bad it was. Uh, yeah, I can definitely go out there and say that insulin, injectable insulin, is in no way, shape, or form good for anybody. Unless, of course, well, no, I'm going to go out there and say it's not. Because even those that have type 1 diabetes, <clears throat> let alone the type 2 diabetic crowd, which is totally self-induced, which is what you call an epigenetic effect so if you want to argue about that like go ahead i won't be in the conversations with it i already know as do most people because this is like the oldest of the old news because insulin itself is actually the oldest hormone to exist on the planet and if you don't believe that then just go and ask dr ron rosedale who also got bored with insulin and now is like a top guy with like leptin and stuff like that and uh, probably mitochondria because it all comes back to the mitochondria folks and uh, yeah, so if you're on the pin, as it were, and uh, your doctor's giving you a slin, you're uh, actually going to live a shorter life than you would have if you are not very conscientiously controlling your blood sugar, taking your, um, you know, pricking your finger and testing your blood out and making sure that you're within the proper range of blood sugar and um, are really monitoring that and going and checking up with your doctor all the time. And my highly highest advice to you is get off the pin. And if you're type 1 diabetic, there are actually protocols that you can do, many of them involving stuff like amino acids because uh, we're always progressing in uh, terms of what we know about the body. And um, blood sugar, uh, yeah, that's a really controversial subject now because with the newest mitochondrial science, we know that food calories, which is the collection of electrons um, actively when we're eating, uh, is only like one third of all the energy we need to run our body. So technically, we could say that if we uh, did a lot of other things correctly, even if we were type 1 diabetic, we could reduce our need for exogenous insulin to a massive degree. And many people have done so, and I know people that have done so. So um, I actually don't like it when people say, oh, I know somebody that, because remember, folks, there's always that one naysayer online. I know somebody that, nye, 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 whatever it is, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'm kind of sorry that I even said that part about, like, I know somebody. I know a lot of people, actually, that have done that. But a lot of times what happens is people just, like, stop because they don't see results, like, really rapidly. Like, right now I'm turning my room into a Faraday cage for the winter because, like, you can't get as much natural sunlight and stuff. But most people of the uh, mindset of, Oh, I've tried that, or usually, you know, I tried that for one day and I didn't feel any better. Well, I've been trying the Faraday cage part for a couple of days now, and I don't feel much better, but I definitely know it works because I've already tried it before, and you have to do these things for, like, months on end and really long studies. So um, take this uh, not with a grain of salt, but uh, you can take this video and take it right to the bank because exogenous insulin in one that does not need it and perhaps has been misprescribed instead of a good diet is not good for you and will shorten your life because the insulin itself is responsible for lifespan and also for memory formation amongst many, many other things. So if you're messing around with insulin and you're not controlling it properly, you're going to live a lot shorter of a life.